Um, I'm so glad we elected Lula. I'm also glad you elected Lula. Um, I think it's fantastic. People got mad at me for that. <laughs> because people always get... Uh, get mad at that. Not the largest nation in the world arguing for more Lebensraum. That is literally what it is, yes. You... It, literally, Putin is arguing for Lebensraum. There is very little distinction. And, like, if you see what he's... What... The Russian army, not necessarily on the orders of Putin, I don't think, but still the way they've carried out the kind of mass rapes and murders around the areas of, like, uh, the villages they've been through, the cities they've been through, the way they've... And in some of these villages, they've separated them out along ethnic lines. They've they've deported the ethnic Ukrainians or killed the ethnic Ukrainians, which is obviously genocidal, right, by definition. So, yes, this is, this is, this is fascism. Um... Sorry, what was I talking Oh yeah, Lula. I was talking about Lula. Uh, because people were mad at me for su voicing support of Lula. Um, I think... Uh, I think my support of Lula is mostly in opposition to Bolsonaro. I, I wouldn't say... So I think a lot of people are saying first, oh, you know, Lula's a criminal. Right. I'm not saying Lula's perfect. Lula's a political establishment kind of a bad guy you know uh, i'm sorry i i i i cannot fully support the man it's a bit like a joe biden situation exactly right like you know this guy you know he's not the best but he's so clearly and obviously better than bolsonaro and there's one thing that makes him so much obviously better he's pro-democracy and it's the same distinction between joe biden and trump right like, you have one candidate who is against democracy and one who's not. And in that case, it's very easy to choose, actually, in a two-party system, even though you don't want to have to make that choice. It's so, so simple to choose, oh, one of these people doesn't want me to have this choice anymore, and one does. And yes, also he doesn't want to destroy the Amazon. Yes. This is a massive thing. And this is why, like, people were asking me why I was um, getting involved in Brazilian politics or whatever. And it's like, you know, what is in Brazil? <laughs> Map of Brazil. What is that big green thing in Brazil? Unfortunately, very, very important for the rest of the world. Two-party system is bad. Yes, Moon Truth. Yes. Um... But yes, uh, it it um, the 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 Amazon rainforest kind of Bolsonaro's policy around it was genocidal in intent. I mean, you know, the, the kind of <laughs> as linguists we should all be happy that we can hope to uh, you know we can all be happy that we can hope for some revival of languages, some revival of cultures that were still obviously are significantly oppressed in Brazil. I'm not. I'm not arguing against that. But yeah, some people unironically want the Amazon to be destroyed. Yes, Bolsonaro is one of them because he doesn't care and he hates you. He he does. He's the, he is the kind of like stereotypical, like, you know, Trump-like, fat. you know, they're, they're very much the same arc. I'd say Bolsonaro is probably, he's, he's as bad as Trump, you know, or, or worse, right? He's, I think he's probably done worse things because Trump just couldn't because of the stronger institutions in the United States, but like, I, I don't know how to compare them directly. I think they're very similar in their kind of... Like, they hate you. They they unironically just hate you. And yes, as someone said earlier, um... Like, yeah, Biden... Oh yeah, oh crap, guy said, Biden, maybe I could choose someone different next time. Trump, this is the last choice I get. It's... It's kind of true. <laughs> it's kind of true. Um, but yeah, L Lula is, uh... Oh yeah, Bolsonaro is basically if you tried to make a person with the worst political positions possible. Absolutely. Um, I just mean that I think Trump might be that bad as well, just like he didn't manage. I, I don't care about the specifics of, like, r of, like, ranking the worst people in the world in terms of how bad they are. Um... But the, uh, but, and the allowance of missionaries in Amazon, exactly, it's stuff like that, it's just fucking insane, right? It should not be allowed, yeah. I don't know that much about Bolsonaro, but Trump is basically that for me as an American. Well, yeah, I mean, he's the worst. Anyway. Um, 
Oh yeah, and besides, he was released from prison because, yes, this is a good thing to mention, Lula's not a convicted criminal. Lula was absolved because his because he was he was convicted by literally a friend of Bolsonaro. Like literally, it was a friend. It was a, a, a Bolsonaro appointed judge. Like it was ruled by the Supreme Court of Brazil as an unlike, you know, as as they nullified it, so he could like. Otherwise, he wouldn't even be able to run for president. Brazil has a like a zero strikes rule on has a clean slate rule on being on running for political office. You can't run for political office if you if you've committed a crime in Brazil. So like yeah, the, he his crimes have been nullified. It's very important to know. It's very important to remember. Like the Supreme Court of Brazil said this was an invalid conviction because of literal bias. The judge himself was a Bol Bolsonaro appointee, and like yes. Bolsonaro is a fascist. He doesn't care. Th that seems kind of anti-democracy. Yes. <laughs> That's because Bolsonaro doesn't like democracy, and he wanted to put his main political opponent in prison. Uh, because it's easier. Because if and any crime he's committed, then he's out of the picture. All right. Someone asked earlier, what's my, what's I, what do I think the most interesting language isolate is? Such a difficult question because every because what the interesting thing about language isolates is that they're language isolates in and of itself. Like it's very difficult to kind of to kind of pin down and go, oh yeah, this is this is the one I really like, right? Because you know this one's more interesting than the others. Because like the thing about language isolates is the fact that we we don't know any other languages that they're connected to, so. I actually, I don't have a favourite language isolate. I know the most about Basque because it's in Europe and, you know, Eurocentrism, I'm sorry, but, like, th that's the only one I could really, like, properly talk about. Um, like, even to, to an extent, you know, like, but, yeah. Do, do I ever think that there was a proto-world? Good question. If the, at the end of the day, if a politician is making good decisions, I don't care about their personality that much. This is true. But their personality can sometimes be an indication of what decisions they're likely to make. But yeah, generally I would say. It doesn't really matter. Um, but after all that talk of fascism and how bad it is, time for some donations. Because we are trying to do something about it, right? Razom in Ukraine, they, they are working to supply um, essential medical goods, essential medical supplies uh, into Ukraine to help civilian... Uh, so to help civilians and and people and injured people, right? You know. So, really making a, a positive impact while still staying very pacifist, because I know some of you are into that, um, and also helping refugees get out of Ukraine, which is very important. Okay, with the fascism is bad hot take. I have the you know. I do, I do have that as a hot take, and you'd be surprised how many people go, no, but Lula's a criminal. Um, well, I mean, I guess I did, I did post Lula exclamation mark exclamation mark like spam, so it does kind of. I should have, in all fairness, I should have posted not Bolsonaro exclamation mark, but it's less. It's less, you know, it's less punchy. In Brazil, it's a hot take. Unfortunately, in Brazil, it is a hot take. <laughs>